Hello, you're listening to another episode of Moral Ambiguity, Dead is Better. Welcome to 2020. It's our first episode of the new year, and it's been about a month since we last uh, recorded the last episode of Dead is Better. Do any of you remember what happened? I have notes. I'm just asking if I, any of you remember. I, I'm Barbara Walters. <laughs> and this uh, is 2020. All right. Do you see the door? There's a As door I, somewhere near you. I need you to leave. <laughs> As I recall, we had just convinced Strahd to start a Twitch channel with us. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Everybody go sub to Strahd Von Z on Twitch. Actually, don't. I don't know if that's a... I don't, that's probably... A real, I don't know if that's a real... Real, real, <laughs> real asshole account. of a person I have had to find, I guess. Uh, uh, <laughs> we had just... Anyway. <laughs> hadn't we just killed the butler? Yeah. So, what I have in my notes are... Irina, Varith, Ophelidel, uh, Casimir, and Sonia. And I'm assuming Vicegrin, too. I don't know why I didn't write their name down. Uh, you guys were assaulted by three whites in the dining hall on the first floor of the castle. Meanwhile, Ruanan, Jack, Arabel, and Pity had shut the door in the Strahd zombies' faces in the cathedral and decided to take one of the stairwells that flanked the cathedral doors. The whites were swiftly dealt with, all the while Jack and the others came back down the one staircase uh, and had to go me. up the other staircase. Excuse me, we prefer Caucasians, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, you guys went up the other staircase after finding out the first one wasn't the right one. You then came to a hallway where there was a dummy of Strahd that was strapped to a pulley system and flew out of a trap door over top of you after Jack had activated a pressure plate. Because he's that Oh, extra. right. Yeah, right. We're, 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 Mac <laughs> we're the wet bandits and, and he's Macaulay Culkin. Right. <laughs> um... You Varith and the others descended into a room that contained a brazier that uh, had several different colored marbles and a poem. You, I think you sussed out that you could use this brazier to teleport to different places. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you were then... Reno, you weren't assailed by Rahadin. Rather, you assailed him. <laughs> um, the butler do it. Rahadin, it was a preemptive assailing. Yes. Rahadin had had entered the room and was going to escort you to the master's bedchambers. I don't like that. And when, <laughs> and, well, he was uh, escorting one of us, supposedly. And, and then he ate a German suplex. <laughs> yes. And you fucking suplex. That is exactly what happened. <laughs> um, it did not taste like a Subway sandwich. Casimir realized that Rahadin was the Dusk Elf that sold all of the other Dusk Elves out, and Casimir just absolutely destroyed him with a lightning bolt. Then after after that, Ilfeladel was like, I need another undead companion. Listen, so, his time is not up. He still has he has to make amends for his past. And he will do that in the new life that I've given him. Hey, can I just make a point that I hate this? <laughs> <laughs> so while this is all happening, <laughs> so while this is all happening, Jack and his group uh, found the Heart of Sorrow, which is an immense red crystalline structure that uh, at will can cause the tower that it's floating in to pitch and bend, threatening to throw people to their demise. Um, you were then attacked by animated halberds and vampire spawn. Oh, yeah. And uh, another thing that I remember about this session is you guys rolled so many critical, hit, critical hits. Yeah, there was a lot. Yeah, there was there a lot. There was a lot. lot. <laughs> you, you all rolled a lot of nat 20s in that fight. It was a nasty, nasty affair. <laughs> it was pretty fucking bonkers. Gross. Gross is what I would call it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's that's apt. Jack, Arabelle, Pity, Ruanan are in the tower attacking the Heart of Sorrow. The Heart of Sorrow took a lot of damage. There are three vampire spawn and there are 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten animated halberds. That's a lot several of, of which are badly damaged. Um, and everyone else are um, in the brazier room. Rahadin was just killed. And is so, now known as Wretch. Those of you in the brazier room, what would you like to do? Rahadin has been killed and resurrected <laughs> as, a, as a new undead companion. Alright, so what's around us since that I don't remember? What's around you are... There are two iron uh, statues. They're a horse and rider. Um, I believe they're sitting in alcoves with the brazier in the center of them. Actually, where's the map of this? A couple pages. Oh, God, not this again. <laughs> no, don't worry. This map is super close to the actual uh, like description. As someone who is not in the brazier room, I would just like to state that I've been holding on to the phrase Brendan Brazier for entirely <laughs> too long. <laughs> and my, my, I have a headache now. <laughs> so that's on you. <laughs> I'll take full blame for that. Um, yeah, there's the two iron statues of the horses and riders. There's a door on the opposite side of the brazier. There are three doors on the north end, and the one in the center is the one you guys came through, I believe. And no, one, you came through the one on the far right. My bad. And one of those doors is obviously open because that's where... Yes, wow. and that would be the leftern-most door. Leftern. That's a new word I invented, guys. <laughs> Left, eastern. I, I, yeah. Okay. Um, well, so it's, like, player-wise, it's just me and a fella down, down here, right? Um, so Sonia's there, too. Okay, I could also... remember where, which one Sonia went with. There's also Arena, Casimir, and Vicegrin. All right, well, where do you want to go? Do we want to mess with the device, or do we want to take the doors? Uh, it's a good question. Do we have any clue how the device works, though? Yes, there was a poem verse that was um, on a... It was at the base of the hourglass... Poetry, my favorite form of technical <laughs> manual. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so and the poem reads as follows. Cast a stone into the fire. Violet leads to the mountain spire. Orange to the castle's peak. Red if lore is what you seek. Green to where the coffins hide. Indigo to the master's bride. Blue to ancient magic's womb. Yellow to the master's tomb. I feel like... The master's tomb is what we seek, given that we were told we would find him in the place where he must return. Well, I would say that's a good guess, but I thought it was the catacombs, which would then be where the coffins hide. I wonder how close the catacombs are to his tomb. It's a very good question. Is that like a... Is that, is that like a... Um... Is there like a, is there like a fire or a picture of a fire or anything like that around? Um, no. It's a stone brazier. It uh, has a tall white flame that doesn't produce any heat. And the rim of the brazier is carved with seven cup shaped indents placed evenly around the circumference. Within each indentation is a spherical stone twice the diameter of a human eyeball and made of a colored crystal. And no two stones are the same color. I'm going to pick, over... pick up the... I was saying, I'm going to pick up the red one and throw it into the fucking fire. The red one? Yeah. So we're going right. to the library? Oh, is it not going to... Okay. Oh, it's going to take the, us places? Um... I thought it was just going to like tell me something. No, that's what the whole poem in the chat is for. Then the poem says red is lore. It's going to tell me. It's going to drop some fucking bombs. No, it's a teleportation place. Ah, shit. So Sonyush is gone now, right? Is what um, happened. 
Not unless you run into the red fire. Oh. Uh, so hold on. Mountain Spire, I'm guessing, is where the rest of the group's at. Or maybe not. That might be Castle's Peak. Lore has to be the library. Coffin's Hide, would, I would say, is Catacombs. Bride would probably be... Oh, what was her name? Tatiana. Tatiana's room. The one I'm curious of is Ancient Magic's womb. Gross. <laughs> well, I mean, that sounds like magic shit, which sounds like treasure. Which... Uh, sounds how, okay, okay, first of all, no. Like, how does... How do any of those words combine into any way you can see as treasure? Ancient magic. Yes, but then there's the third word, which doesn't, which kind of, it's kind of the most important and completely negates the first two because it doesn't matter what the first two is because the third one dictates everything. It could be happy fun time, womb, doesn't, pretty sure it's still not going to be happy fun time. <laughs> I never said it'd be happy fun time. I said there's it'd a, be treasure. There's a joke here and I am not qualified to make it. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we can explore the rest of this after we put Straw down. Fair. Because I would also like to see this ancient magic, and I would like to see this lore. But I think we are best suited to deal with Strahd first. Well, then I'm guessing he's probably in one of three places since he seems to be a mopey little bitch. <clears throat> No He's either in his his room, Tatiana's room, or the catacombs. I turned to I turned to Wretch. You have any insider information? <laughs> Noted. <laughs> We're gonna mark that in the ledger. Um. Well, I say if we go into the tomb. And he's not there. I would imagine his tomb can't be far from the rest of the tombs. I would think. And then it's just finding our way to Tatiana's room. Yeah. Yeah. If So if the tombs don't work out, we can navigate to the catacombs. Look for the, the, cat, the coffins there. And if that doesn't pan out, then um, we navigate our way to Tatiana's. All right, now, do we want to check any of the doors here, or do we just want to... Perhaps after. Okay. Um, we do have... We do have another group that um, depends on our pressure to distract Strahd, lest he destroy them. Fair. All right, let's go. Who's that? <laughs> what are they talking about? Talking about, uh... We need to keep the pressure up, um... On Strahd, so he doesn't try to come in, uh, you know, yeah. take care of you. Gank you guys. Fair. So, what's the plan? We're going to the tomb. So, you're tossing in yellow? Yes. Yeah. All right. You toss the stone in the fire, it changes from red to yellow. And Strud steps out. Yeah. Y'all punch right. him in the face. Feel <laughs> free to stick your hand into that fire and get teleblorted. Teleblorted? <laughs> so we're turning into mall cops. Bad. <laughs> Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. I was not prepared for this. What did you expect? What did we do? Say. Wait, let me go back to this map. How bad did we mess up? Uh, not that bad, honestly. I you mean, done fucked up. Worst case scenario, we teleport behind him. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing personal, kid. Nothing personnel. Quick, somebody throw him in a sleeper. You guys watch Choke as just. 
you guys just watch as yellow light fills your vision as you all teleport into this rather <laughs> cramped five foot square area. Oh that, god. Yeah, you guys are all cramped like together. Um there's a black black marble steps descend into a dark tomb that uh has a vaulted ceiling 30 feet overhead. You actually see that in front of these stairs is a heavy portcullis that is currently shut. Goddamn portcullises. Getting tired of these things. I could have grub lifted. Yeah, probably the best idea. Have Grub make a strength check. Does anyone know the strength bonus for a zombie? <laughs> it's it's I think it's their highest stat, right? Probably. Uh it's a base 18. I Hang on. I fucked joke. up. <laughs> nice. I love when the DM says that. You guys are actually teleported to the bottom of those those stairs behind the portcullis inside of the tomb. Joy. The <laughs> essence of evil permeates the very air. The smell of freshly turned earth is here. Settled into the dirt on the floor is a shining black coffin of finely waxed wood. The coffin's fittings are those of brilliant brass and the lid is closed. South of the coffin are three gloomy alcoves. There's an iron level that protrudes from the north wall east of the tomb's entrance. Does anybody have a steak? I think I actually made some from when we uh, staked Doru and turned him into crispy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's actually, we literally have some because of that. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do this Van Helsing style. I'm going to rip open the coffin. You hammer it into him. I wish we had Van Richten with us. <laughs> I feel like he would be a wealth of useful information. Uh, the the also vampire remember, slayer? The monster hunter? Yeah, probably. Also remember, I do have the holy symbol of Ravenkind. Good. <laughs> I think we're going to need it. <clears throat> All right. So, <laughs> Is this what we want to do? Yes. <laughs> All right. So as you guys approach the, the the coffin, I do have the holy symbol out. You see, I'm going through all my spells. You see, coming through the earth, the um three women dressed in soiled gowns and dirt encrusted jewelry yeah. rise up. One's wearing kind of this red dress with a with a hood the other is wearing a white dress with a golden tiara and a golden like choker uh, necklace and the other's shorter wearing a skull mask with horns protruding out of both out of each side of their head and wearing a bronze colored dress they all look and they look at you one of them hisses and says you should turn back. It's a little late for that. You, yeah, you, sh not... you should turn back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> you sure as hell told her. I need you guys to roll initiative. <laughs> I tell them when it comes to serving puppet masters of the undead, wouldn't you rather choose... The lesser evil. Ba, 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 ba. Nineteen. Oh. I like these new night. Uh, these new dice. <laughs> it's a ten for me. Fourteen. Fourteen for Sonia. Then I got a roll for Casimir, Arena, and Vice Grin. Vice Grin, upon seeing these uh, women just crawl out of the ground, he just uh, they just scoff. You are the ones responsible for my imprisonment in Berez. Oh man, season finale. Everybody's character arc is coming to a close. I'm trying to be better with my characterization of Vice Grin, and I'm not doing a very good job. Yeah, you just make him, make him drunk. 
Yeah, that'll do it. A drunk powwow with Vicegrin, and they tell us all about their history. <laughs> if they survive. Dang. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I mean, right. they will survive. Whether or they not it survive. says. Yeah, whether or not it says like living creatures is debatable. They'll survive with an asterisk. <laughs> the asterisk says may or may not survive. No, may or may not be a ghouligan. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> That's uh, what the asterisk is. All of this is bad. Alright, so first in this initiative order is actually Arena. Arena just screams and charges one of them with a longsword. Jesus Christ, Arena! Like, would, <laughs> we would still have the costumes on. Fucking, Fucking a little you. chill. A little <laughs> chill. Get him, Ariana Grande. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you, you did? <laughs> we <Yeah>. did. <laughs> he screams and it's just like an Ariana Grande, like, just, like, high-pitched vocal. Arena misses with the first swing, but comes around and hits on the second swing. She do it. And we'll deal... A very meager amount of damage. <laughs> Hooray! Meager. Hooray! Alright, next up, we have Vicegrin. Vicegrin's gonna take that swing with that Morningstar. Ooh, and hit. Holy shit. Vice Grin has a plus eight to attack. Yeah, that's all he does. He's not supposed to do anything else. Yeah, fighters do get a big attack bonus. I just meant from like a personality perspective. <laughs> <laughs> like all we I'm ever trying ever my do best, is okay? I didn't come. I didn't want to play him in for his technical skills. Listen, I came to have a very good time, <laughs> and I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. <laughs> Swings a second time and hits again. Wa pow! That's very good damage. <laughs> Alright, so after Vice Grin, it's. Oh, wait, Varith should have went before Vice Grin. I'm sorry. It's alright. Alright. Are these ladies vampires? Yes. All right, I'm presenting the holy symbol of Raven kind. I'm expending a charge, and they got to make a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for a minute. All right. Oh, that's... Well, one of them was a five. They failed. The other two are 17s. Dang. They've uh, saved. So one's paralyzed. That's at least All right. For a minute. So that's like they're out of the battle. I'll note P and P. Got the double PP. Gross. I don't think that that's <laughs> how you should word that. No. I debated <laughs> on expending four charges to give them all disadvantage, but I don't want to use that many because I want to be able to use the answer. Yeah. Oh, we God. save it. Oh, All right. That's an action, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So then it would be Vice Grin, but Vice Grin went. So, uh, Casimir and Sonia. Oh, Sonia, you. what would you like to do? Hmm. 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 I'm still trying to pretend I'm Arena. You can give it up and just attack. I feel it. I mean, to be fair, Arena had just... I don't know how to think about it. Her screaming like a fucking crazy person has been very unlike her, so technically... I'll remember this the next time you all want to attack my NPC role playing. How dare you? I'm not. I'm I know. I'm, I'm fucking with you, man. 
All right, well, while you think of what you're going to do, Casimir is going to cast Cone of Cold against two of them. Ooh, and they both fail. Woot. So that's... Woo! 8d8 cold damage. Ice job, Casimir. Shut the fuck God up. God damn it. Fuck. Oh, that one hurt. <laughs> that one hurt. It hurt so good, though. That's how you know it's a good one. Wow, 77715. Nice. The, for the first five. The first so five. 21. Yeah, I still have three more dice to roll. So that's 21, 26, 27. 29, 33, 37 cold damage. Frozen. I don't think they'll let it go. God. <sighs> I'm upset. They're, uh... <laughs> hey, Casimir. Yeah? What killed the dinosaurs? I don't know what. The Ice Age! <laughs> They're really showing their true colors as a few uh, frigid bitches. Vareth should be very offended by that one. Man, it'll I'm not a that. dinosaur. Man, I'm not Luchasaurus. That's for you. <laughs> Dragons are warm-blooded. <laughs> I, I hate all of this. This is all bad. <laughs> Hope you all get turned into vampires. <laughs> that's okay, no way to talk to your friends. Yeah, that's what, what you think that you, that you what are. A, what, a, what a chilly reception. <laughs> Shut up, Arnold. Young dog, go fuck off. I'm done. <laughs> Game's <laughs> over. Just because we're having fun. <laughs> oh, oh <Lord>. God. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh God! What are you All doing? Right. What are you doing? Get to the chopper! Bad, bad. All of this is bad. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> what is what is Sonia doing? Please save us from this. Oh. Take you long. Keep no, them. no. I'm I'm trying to think of the perfect. Fucking quote, and I can't. I'm trying to think of like what I need to say. Bad. But I can't. Well, it's not coming. It's like, uh. If it bleeds, we can kill it? Oh, God. Just play the game. God. You, got, you guys are looking pretty cold. I think you need to warm up. Uh, cast fire hands. <laughs> It works. You sound so, you, you sound so defeated. I couldn't the think weather. of a good like fire ice pun. It's right there, the, but I couldn't. It's the like weather it's inside coming. is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. They call me Heat Miser. <laughs> I'm Mr. Sun. Um... <laughs> oh God, are we off the rails tonight? <laughs> This pun, this pun off brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is the number one MMO of the year. Stop! <laughs> you can't stop me now! Disclaimer, Don't we're not actually stop sponsored. No! Alright, God, please play this game. Alright, so, Burning Hands. What's... Nasty. I don't know, I gotta look that up. Uh, uh, you gotta make a dex saving throw. Dexterity. How many are you targeting? Um... <laughs> Let's see. So Three of them it's, are cold. It's, it's, it's or two each of them creature in a 15 foot cone. So how many can I target with that? You could hit two without hitting Arena and Vice Grim. What if I want to hit Vice Grim? <laughs> <laughs> what if? Just, just, wait, is there a way to hit all of them? Plus my screen, or maybe just a way to hit only my screen. <laughs> just throwing it out there. <laughs> just no, no there isn't. The... Not without hitting arena. <laughs> I hit the two. I hit the two. All right. 
<laughs> That's. Look at their stats. An 18 and a 23. Oh, huh, what? You know, shucks. Just barely. Just barely. Yeah, of course that fucking saves. God damn. Uh, but they still take damage. Yes, they do. I gotta look up what it is. It looks like half. Half. Yeah. Three d six. Ooh. Ooh. God damn it! That was max damage on all of them. It failed. Uh, nine damage total. All right. Nine fire damage. Up next is Ophelidel. Um, I have a lot of spells that are not gonna work on a vampire, so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna cast Dragon's Breath on Chris P. Sweet. Um, and then I'm just gonna command the Gooligans to launch an all-out attack. Um on the one who is paralyzed. Alright. <laughs> oh no. Kind of... Um Oh god. Chris P um will use his dragon's breath. Um That must be in Xanathar's guide. I just need to check how much damage it does. And breathes on it. Dragon's breath. He will do. Ooh, Chris P can also do a cone. So actually, Chris P is gonna go after. He's gonna spray his breath on the uh, the two who have been getting sprayed with every cone in the in the party's arsenal. All right. He's gonna add on with his own cone. Is it a? It's a. Is it a waffle cone? It's the cone zone. It is gonna be a cone of fire. That's not a waffle cone. It's no, a bone cone zone. I'm assuming um, that's a dexterity save? Yes. Well, we got 21 and 9. I fucking hate you. Um, <laughs> well, okay, then the one who saves takes half. You know the mm -hmm. drill. Um, it is... Ooh, at least it's good rolls. Um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 fire damage and half for uh, the one who saved. And then the ghouligans so... are just gonna f fucking dogpile the one I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the other one is paralyzed. The one that's not getting coned. Mm -hmm. The cone of shame. Um, okay, well it's just gonna be a series of melee attacks, so buckle up everyone. They um, all have advantage. Beautiful. That's what I love to hear. Because of the paralyzed condition. Well, Chum is gonna go to swing his just big arm, his strong arm, as it were. It's my strong um, arm. Chum, at the base of nineteen plus yeah three. So yep. That'll that'll hit, yeah, for sure. Um, Grub is gonna try to just headbutt her. I'm gonna headbutt you. That's two eighteens. Two eighteens. Um, Oof. So, well, so yeah, like mean, one hit. Yeah. Um, that hits. And then Wretch. Wretch is just gonna try to like kick her in the shins. <laughs> just. Oh, whoops. Wretch. Well, Wretch, you made the most disappointing roll. I'll remember that. That's a 13. 13. That will miss. He's in. He's a new boy in his new body, getting used to he's his, shy. his changes. Yeah. All right. Well, the two hits that did land are a 7 and an 11. 7, 11. So, 18. All right. And then that is everything I've got for, for this turn. Buckle up, <laughs> fellas. Next up are the vampires' turns. Gross. 
Uh, one of them is going to charge Sonya. And let's see. Let me look at their stuff. All right. One of them is going to make a claw attack. Sonya does, I'm assuming, a 21 hits. Yes. Okay. So you're going to take... Seven points of slashing damage. Mm. And they're going to try and grapple you. Oh, they've picked the wrong people to do that way. And that's a 25 <coughs> to grapple. Grappled me. Right, so something. you are being held. Really? I don't have to. Let me look at this. I'm going to continue no, on. I'm going to look and see if I have any type of things that's like. I thought it uh, was opposing rolls for grapple. Yeah, it's it's versus your uh, <coughs> you make a roll either acrobatics or athletics. Right. Yeah. Ah shit! Acro, fuck you! I'm rolling acro. Fuck you! Acro, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> acrobatics is the only thing I have fucking points. And God damn it! Where's the roll? This fucking yeah, yep. baby. I have a plus eight in acrobatics, and that has never come up because it's always athletics, and I'm so angry. But this time, <laughs> this one time, 15 plus eight's a 20. Damn it, that's the exact number, isn't it? No, actually, because you have to... I Since I was adding their attack bonus and not their strength bonus. So let me roll for them. You dodge being grappled. Yeah. Ice. Can't catch me. I'm too fast. <clears throat> the other vampire spawn is going to attack Casimir. Casimir gets hit with a claw. Swing again. And miss. Alright. So we're going to change perspectives over to the team that's fighting the Heart of Sorrow. Hello. Jack. Yes. It is your turn. That is Currently, mine. you are um, you're on this spiral staircase. It the the heart is floating ten feet in front of you. Yeah. Um, you're surrounded by several animated halberds, a, a bunch of which are currently damaged, and three vampire spawn had dropped in on you. Right. I remember that. They came crawling down the walls. Um, I'm going to cut my hand again. Mm hmm. And I'm going to let out a guttural bruh and fire my last finger of death at it. All right. What kind of save is that? Uh, give me a minute. I am pulling it up because uh, I forgot to pull up roll 20. <laughs> As it go. Things truly never change. Never. Finger of death might be constitution. That's what I was thinking. Hey, it's either constitution or dex. I forget. Because it's, like... it's a ray. Yeah. Uh, I'm pulling it up now. Uh, it is... Uh, the target makes a constitution saving throw. You're right. You're correct. All right. Um, I will... And I think if I recall last time I gave the heart Strahd stats. So at least for the You did physical stats. Um like gotta look up Strahd stat block right quick. That's good damage all around. Thankfully that's right here. Um a constitution save, that's a twenty-one. A twenty-one will save. And was that your final use of uh, Finger of Death? It was. Uh, so it's going to take 32 points of uh, damage. That, that is uh, rounded down to 32 points of necrotic damage. Oh, wait. It, what did you roll, like, total? Uh, 63. Holy shit. It's, uh, it's All right. 78 plus 30. I just gotta find out what tomb you got World the 32. finger of death from. I was gonna say, I hope like it, 
You lose the last finger of death. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about there being a downside <laughs> it's to that. the finger of your death. Yeah. Oh, it's oh a right. Down, baby. Jack, I need you to make a constitution save. Oh, God, you are going to die. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Good, um, good luck. Constitution. That's a natural one, my boys. Uh, that's okay. a natural one. So, um, Ruan and you watch as after Jack unleashes the spell, he just drops to his knees and then falls face first onto the stairway. Jack, uh, you are at zero hit points. I should point out that's a, a plus three. That is a four. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to double check that again. <laughs> um, okay. Complicate that's, things. You are Very all fucking complicated. Me. But you did well, deal a lot of damage to the heart. The heart looks like it's almost done. Well, fuck. <clears throat> um, yeah, cool. next in the initiative order is the heart. Yay. The heart is going to... Going to cause the tower to pitch. <clears throat> oh, good. Ragdoll. <clears throat> Uh, hey, let's look at it this way. It's not like you can take any more damage. So I so certainly can. Ruwanin and Pity need to make dexterity saves. So does Arabelle just start playing next to a uh, Josh there? Ragdoll. Anybody else know the song? No. Arabelle nat or er, Pity nat twenty. Holy shit! So Pity's fine. Ruwanin rolled a unnatural twenty. Nice. You're fine. Um, Arabelle's fine because she was laying face first on the stairs. Jack, your oh, body so is Jack fine. Oh, so then Jack will be fine, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, next up is Rwanan. Um. Okay. I'm going to run over to Jack. Um, and I'm going to cast Spare the Dying. Um, oh, I'm at zero hit points. You, I'm spared, right? Am I... Cast? Am I? Am I doing? He would have to be. I mean, you would have to be making death saves. I'm making it so that you don't have to do death saves. Oh, um, I didn't know if stabilized. I had. Oh, okay. I thought I was stable because you said I was at zero, so I wasn't sure. Is, is that what the intention was, Mister Matty Braps? Shut the fuck up. Um. Bad. Uh, no, I would. He would be making death saves. Okay, oh. then I am going to cast. Thank you. Spare the dying. Um, I just need to make sure. I need to see if I can meta magic this real quick. Um, I can. Um, so I'm gonna meta magic quick and spell it. Um, and what I want to do is I'm gonna quicken it so that it's a bonus action to cast. Uh, Spare the dying on him, and then can I like force feed him a health potion? Can I like drip feed him? Yeah, absolutely. Sweet. And I'm gonna do that as my action. Um, I believe it's two d four plus two. Yes. No, maybe so. If it's a potion of minor healing, yes. I mean... Oh, oh, Bobby, I knew you can. Oh. Hey, Cheryl's not in this campaign. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're back <laughs> at five hit points. Oh, good. Great. Wonderful. Right. Hey. Manager. After, after hey. Ruan and his pity, pity is probably just going to spit a dart at one of the vampire spawn. Oh, uh, these always and it would work. be. It's going to be hilarious if he, if he crits. Wait, what is this? It's gonna do a whole two damage. Oh, I was looking at my bookmarks because I found a better spell block for Piddle for Piddlewick, and I I opened up the Bard College of the Black Parade. Oh, fun! When I was stop it. 
Absolutely. No G note jokes in this podcast. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Pity's gonna shoot that dart. Oh! <laughs> Did you no crit? No fucking way! <laughs> yeah, critted. Holy shit! Cool. Hit a vampire spawn in the eye. <laughs> uh, oh, I, the I love that killer puppet. So that's nine plus. So that's twelve damage from the offset. So down to there, the target needs to make a Constitution saving throw. This is the first time we've actually seen what Pity's attacks do. <laughs> they rolled a five. Or suffer 2d8 poison damage. Shit. For an extra eight damage. So there, <laughs> there we go. Pity just did 20 points of damage in one round. Damn. All right. So after Pity is the vampire spawns. Neat. One of them is going to leap at Ruanan. Heck. Heck indeed. That's a whew, 24. Yep. Ruanan's going to take nine points of slashing. They're going to go for the second claw attack. That one's going to miss. Uh, the vampire spawn that got hurt by pity is actually going to attack him. I assume just, they're just going to try to lift him up. <laughs> they, pity, you watch as this vampire spawn is trying to grab at pity and try to pick him up. And you see pity just kind of matrix dodge everything. Nice. Unbelievable. Well, like I said, he hit him in the eye. So it's kind of hard to, you'll, to have depth perception when you only have one good eye. That's true. Accurate. That one's going to miss, and that one's going to miss. Alright. Now it's the Halberd's turns. Now we gotta look up animated swords. I am pretending to be as dead as possible without actually being dead. I'm dying. My tongue mm. is lulled out. My eyes are rolled back. Karoke. The... The halberds are going to hold their actions. Ah, I see. This, these these swords are clever. <laughs> clever. Clever girl. Um, now we're gonna shift back to Strahd's tomb, where Arena is going to lunge. Forward at the par <laughs> the paralyzed vampire spawn. And that's disappointing. She hits, however. She does hit. First attack does an okay amount of damage. Let's go with that. Second attack. Uh, that one missed. Could After she arena. flank them? Yeah, actually, she's going to move to flank. Varith, it's your turn. Are all three of them within 30 feet of me? Uh, they are. All right. Varith's eyes are going to go that kind of uh, bluish white again. He's going to look at all three of them and snarl out the phrase Thekral Skav which is draconic for repent vermin Dang. as I cast destructive wave oh fuck and I'm gonna channel my divinity so off the bat they're taking if they fail their saving throw they're taking 30 thunder damage and they'll be taking another 5d6 radiant So if you want to roll their constitution saving throws. Okay. 
I'm letting you know right now that within this radius are Arena, Vice Grin, and all of the Gooligans. And it does not matter because it only hits enemies. Oh, fuck. Yup. Cleric is so busted, dude. Yup. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love this spell. All right, Constitution saves then. Oh, also, if they fail, they're knocked prone. Nice. And and also, the they just get shit on immediately if they fail. <laughs> like, just God, God comes out and poops directly. Yeah, and if they face. take even one point of damage from the spell, they also fall in love with him and follow him around. <laughs> and want to give him lots of money. Okay, so. 12, 9, and a natural 20. Okay, one of them saves, the other two fail. The 20 saves. Okay. I hope so. So that's 30 thun uh, lightning damage, I think it is. Yeah, 5d6 thun no, thunder. 5d6 thunder, so that's 30 there. And 15 radiant. Whew. Buck. And I'm assuming creatures who save take half. Yeah, they... <laughs> uh, half damage and they're not knocked prone okay yeah no destructive wave is busted but the downside is it doesn't scale so you know i can't burn an upper or a higher slot to make it do more i mean do you, all right do you need to if the fact that it, even if it doesn't do that much damage if it hits it makes them prone that's fucking yeah no that's fair i mean it <laughs> You watch as two of them get instantly just destroyed, for lack of a better term. You'd see limbs flying off, just this burst of crimson as their insides explode outwards. However, there is one left standing, and she is pissed. Really? That's the feeling? <laughs> her fucking... Her sisters are blown apart. And the hang on, hang on, hang on, is, hang on. Nah, I'm gonna take them out. I'm, I'm gonna try to do this scream without destroying my throat. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, you big You dare defy us! You big man, huh? Oh, you mad, bro? You God. You mad, bro? You're all bad. After Varith is uh, vice grin. I mean, you see what I just did to your sisters? You sure you want to fuck with this? <laughs> vice grin's charging. Hits with at least one of their swings. It does that much damage. Yeah. Go for it, Vice Grin. You run bot of town. After Vice Grin is Sonya and Casimir. Um, yeah, hey, yo. <laughs> hey. Hey, yo. Um. Yeah, fuck this bitch. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh. Hey, yo, hey, hey. Fuck you. So that first attack is, uh, 18? 18 definitely hits. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm going to, first of all, okay, let's just roll the damage. Nine damage. Wow. Okay. Almost max. Um, and using a key point to make that a stunning strike. Constitution save, yeah? Yep. That's a 13. Oh. Oh, just missed. Just, uh, just missed. So, uh, yeah, she's stunned, which is going to really suck for the extra key point I'm spending to make those, uh, flurry of blows. So I'm hitting her twice more. Oh, man. 
Uh, that's uh. I believe that's advantage because she's stunned. Yep. Yep. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. Okay. Um, that's six damage. And then uh. Oh, natural twenty. Oh. Describe how you kill this vampire spawn. So I start punching her, and then I just keep punching her. Like, and then I just keep like just keep punching her. Just are you like Ralphie so- from the? Are you like Ralphie from a Christmas story where he just beats the shit out of the yellow-eyed douche? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like she gets on the ground. I was just All watching right. Watchmen shit, so I'm thinking it's like some real Rorschach shit, which is oh, not yeah. stopping. Alright, so you guys just watch as Sonya is just pulverizing this vampire spawn into red paste. <clears throat> Sonya? Sonya? Are, are, are you okay? Oh, I'm feeling great. Hang on. Hang on. I've almost, I've almost got all of the organs flattened. Hang on. Yeah, she's not okay. <laughs> she, she, she's not okay. It looks like the most right. intense Swedish massage you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll hop over to uh, Heart of Sorrow Gang with uh, Jack. Um, you ha- you have five hit points. Jack is going to use half his movement to stand up. <clears throat> Sounds good. Because he's in a lot of pain. How's that heart looking, by the way? The heart is looking... Oh, man. Not great. I'm going to... Vomit from the pain? No, I'm I'm hurting all right. Hmm. Are those halberds aimed at me? Uh, yes. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on the heart. All right. Um, I believe that's a ranged spell attack. Yes. As you know, I played a warlock last night. Uh, That's a 13. 13 hits, Okay. I believe. Let me check real quick. That's the first one. Uh, 13 misses, actually. Really? Yeah. Okay, the second was 27. That 27 definitely hits. It's better. Right. That's a six points of damage. Six? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, you watch as your Eldritch Beam of Energy just enters the heart. And at first, for a few moments, it seems like nothing happens until the heart just explodes in this blast of eldritch energy. Oh. And the heart of sorrow uh, goes dark. It, it's no more. It does not exist anymore. Oh, does thank he, God. Does he get any thingies back from that? Oh, yeah. I would get a little bit of help from that if it was a, cre- if it was a creature, a living thing. Well, it was a heart. This doesn't get much more alive than that, right? I mean, if it's alive, it's a living heart. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll let you. Um, that would. Be- you also watch as all of the animated halberds just kind of sink and like. Oh, thank God! Just clatter to the ground. I had a feeling that might what? happen. The um the the three vampire spawn just kind of grip their heads in pain. And attempt to flee. You're on stairs. Do, like, do they just kind of run off the stairs? I'm at 15. Uh, they're gonna try. They're gonna climb up the walls. Ah, uh, okay. Like they're just kind of skittering, and they're really fast. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you better run, bitches. <laughs> All right, we should find the others. Where are, where are they? It's a good question. Uh, um, we're not with them. Yeah, but you guys have a psychic link. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, no, yeah. Also, he's... You're Rowan, yeah, I just remembered that. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot. So, uh... How are things going? You guys fighting Strahd yet? <laughs> uh, no, but I think we just killed his three bitches. Uh, first of all... So, I... No, they I were quite detest, rude. They were mean. I detest your use <laughs> of that word. Okay, first of all, tell them no, it's fine. They were female dogs. No, no, uh, they were mean. They were rude. They were nasty. They they, they, they deserve the label. Okay. I hate this. Um, and second, that is great news, but also, do you There's have There's also a coffin in front of us. We haven't is opened it yet. in it? We haven't opened it yet. <laughs> it's on our to-do list. Text me yeah. back when you open it. <laughs> we'll send right. pics. If the connection goes dead, things went to hell. Look, just join. Look, we'll live stream it. Join the Google group. How we'll are things on us. your end? <laughs> we have destroyed the heart. We will Shit. try to move well, to join here, you as quickly as possible. All right. I'm going to turn to the rest of the uh, <coughs> my group then. They killed the heart. Oh, cool. So, with these... Uh, that, that is good news. These three uh, nuisances gone. Do we want to open the coffin and see if he's in there and then stake his ass? Absolutely. It's the it's the heart, not the ass. You got you got to be the heart. I offer I offer I offer Vareth a big old wooden stake. Oh hey, before hang on, real quick, just uh real quick, real quick. Um, um, hang on, I want to get it now. Uh, yeah. Um, I have thirteen hit points. Um, before we do this. Can one of y'all help with that? Because that'd be great. Because just in case we got to go and fight, I, I'd like to not die. I'm working on it. Do you have any of that magic healing juice? No, but it's, I have spells. Because my, uh, my version <laughs> of healing is a little bit... <laughs> let, me, let me suck down that cleric juice. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> I I will you know say what? nothing. No, you know what, Sonia? No healing for you. Wow, that fucked up. The, just for that, no. You made it too weird. <laughs> it's weird now, man. You made it weird. I can't believe you did this. No healing for you. You no. Damn. Learn your lesson. <laughs> All right. So I will offer you guys the opportunity to leave this tower and attempt to find Strahd's tomb. But okay, I am giving you a timer. Don't worry about how much time you have. I will let you know when it when the shit's gonna go down. Well, that's 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 how we're gonna be worried about it. That's. <laughs> Don't worry about the timer. I'll tell you when it's too late. Don't worry about the timer. Just know that it is constantly going in the background, and if you fuck up, it's over. Every moment is a moment closer to death. All right. So, All right. so are well, we going to just going to go down and look for tombs underground? Sounds like the, a plan to me. We go. We go down. <clears throat> All right. So you guys descend this spiral staircase. You, um, where is this one? This is the everybody's favorite part of the podcast. Matt looks at maps. This section that one. Okay. Matt, Matt looks at maps is brought to you by uh, Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> the n- number one MMO. Uh, eventually, the they'll, eventually, they'll just call us to fucking yeah, do it. Yeah, that's how works. Um, and we'll get money. Uh, Play Raid Shadow Legends today uh, and play the best MMO in the world. Raid I'll Shadow chill Legends. out for a shitty game if I get a couple bucks out of it. Yeah, now it'll happen. Dang. Yeah, now that... It'll do it now. now. It'll definitely happen. 
Where does totally it getting out? that raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> We're getting that money. <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, make your way down this spiral staircase. It takes quite a while, but eventually you come to a dark passage that runs for about 20 feet, connecting an archway to the west with an ascending stone staircase to the east. To the north and south are four 10-foot square alcoves cluttered with rotting cots and dirty rags. The ceilings here are covered in yellow lichen. Okay, what? <laughs> Try again. Exactly. <laughs> no, so what is, I'm serious. What is... what? I don't know what that is. It's a kind of moss type shit. Yeah. Well, we want to look for the door that will take us not here. Oh, see, my maps. see, see, if he didn't say anything about the timer, I would have been like, can I have a short... Do I need a short rest to get back my keyboards? He's talking about our timer. The timer that we have. Uh, yes, a short rest will give you all your key points back. No, wait, when you say our timer, do you mean like real life timer? No, I'm talking about the timer that me and Ro, 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 Ro uh, are on. Ruanan. I don't know why I had trouble with that word. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I guess we can <clears throat> give the tune whenever the fuck we want because we got the teleport and shit, right? So when you move, uh, when you move forward through this uh, passage, <coughs> you come to a thirty-foot square room that's in shambles. Scattered furniture lies in heaps near the walls. Broken bones lie scattered amid crumpled and crushed plate armor. Shields and swords jut out from the walls as if driven into them by some tremendous force. Two two doors stand opposite one another in the center of the north wall and the south wall. A dark archway leads out through the east wall, which is actually where you're coming from. So, you got two doors. One north and one south. I don't know. Is there like a brochure? <laughs> um. I feel like trying to navigate the entire castle from the very highest peak all the yeah. way down to the catacombs is going to take an entire session. Yeah. I want to go to the door one. that will take me down. Well, Rowanan, you have been in the castle before, so roll a history check. Uh, that is a flat ten. You, that's just enough. You recall that the room to the north contains a secret door that leads downwards. Then that is where we're going. All right. Down we go. <clears throat> so you guys enter a shadowy room that's in perfect order. A great table stands here with a chair, inkwell, and quill set carefully in place. Lances, swords, shields that bear the Barovian crest are hung neatly on the dark oak-paneled walls. Um, you recall that in the far um, east or the far western corner towards the back, it's actually a secret door that descends into. The Brazier Room. Hmm. Brazier. So. You enter. The Brazier Room. You see the script at the base of the hourglass with the verse written in common. You see that the fire in the Brazier is currently white. All of the colored crystals are in their indentations. I will I mean, communicate it's the tomb, right? it's the tomb. with Varith. Uh, which which one did you guys go to? Yellow. Cool. We're going to do that. All right. You toss the crystal, the yellow crystal, into the fire. The fire glows red. I do a big jumpy. Wait, it glows red? Oh. Yellow. Oh. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right well we jump through <laughs> all right so everybody else Varith, uh ilfeladel sonia uh you all watch as jack arabelle pity and ruanan teleport into the room hey hi everybody we did it what up yeah you all right everybody ready to of, let's go bitches Fuck shot up. Yeah, let's say everybody ready to crack open a cold one? I'd like a I'd like an hour. Can I have Fuck. like an hour? 
<laughs> Can we just wait? We only need like 30 minutes. A thirty uh, short rest is 30 minutes, right? A short rest is an hour. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could use my spells back and uh, I'm... And the hurt. health that you... Oh yeah, Vera, you? you notice you notice Jack is very hurt. Uh, He looks really sallow and pale and just bad off. Can Jack, we afford, can I we whispered, afford to I, take a short rest? He's not gonna fucking tell us that. <laughs> I'm asking I mean, you guys. I'm well, okay. I'm pretty close to dead. Jack's really close to dead. He's. I think he's probably yeah. out of spell points. Hey, uh, look. I'm gonna be honest. That heart ain't coming back. We fucked that heart up real bad. I'd like my key points back. Fine. Take where a short rest. But where if it bites us in the ass, I'm blaming you guys. The port call us to get in here is closed. Yeah. So. So. Wow. Is that, and fuck, we, that don't can't to, right. we don't have to be asleep short rest. We just have to not be doing anything yeah. strenuous. What is he going to do? Shit. What is he going to do? Telefrag us? That is my hit dice. We're a little late. Fuck it. I'm not so, going to use this again. I'm using all my hit dice, which is nine of them. Yeah, same. So I'm struggling with the decision here. Because this is a very good place to end the episode. But it would also leave us with a very short episode. It's a good, however, it's a good starting. It's a good starting point to get in, right? Like, this is coming back, doing this now. It's a good place. No, let's go right. for it because I have a feeling this is stride. So let's do it. Yeah. See that my however was, if you do initiate the battle with Strahd, it could go on for a while, and I'm not sure. I could handle having to edit like three hours. <laughs> That's fair. Um, so I'll leave it to a vote for you guys. The my players, not the people listening. <laughs> I say let's do it because we tend to either have everything spectacularly blow up in our faces or we power right through it. So I don't think it's gonna actually be all that long. Uh, I think it's going to end up being longer than we think. And plus, this is a really good place to pause. And with us coming back, this being the first episode back, being a little short isn't a problem to me for me. So, but then that means like it's just one battle next episode. Yeah, but it's going to be a long battle. Oh. One battle and whatever role playing happens to have, you know, yeah, af afterward. If There's always short, an after battle. If it's a short fight, then then we fucking do the whole aftermath stuff. I've been ready to fight Strahd for like the past three sessions, so I, I want to do it. But yeah, that's kind of my thing. Don't, I don't mind whatever the group decides. I literally, I really would like to fight Strahd now, and I feel like if, okay. if, if okay. like if if it be, like if it's one of those things where I'd say like if like an after an hour, it feels like we haven't like. Oh, it's gonna go on for a while. I mean, we could probably really use pause like in the middle of the fight if we find like a really good, you know, like oh hey, a really cool thing happens or a really bad thing happens or a really dumb thing happens. That'd be a good. Like thing to if be he like, has a second more powerful form. Yeah, or like someone dies or safer, someone does safer, something really safer stupid. Safer strat. All right, Zaro strat. Let, let me grab Definitely. my other notebook because I've had this prepped for like three months. Hang on. Do we get the spells back in a short rest? I do. I don't I think do. you do. Let me see. Uh, uh, Warlocks do. Um, I think everybody else gets spells on the long rest. Okay. But that's only because I have literally two spell slots. I think you're right, but I'm checking real quick. For over 400 years, I have ruled over this cursed land. For 400 years, I have slain every traveler who dared to threaten me. The coffin's lid bursts open and the vampire lord himself rises stoically, arms crossed. I am terribly sorry. Whatever light you sought here was a myth. I am ancient. I am the land. I am the son of King Barov von Zutstra- Fuck. I fucked that up. 
I'm the son of King Bera von Zorovich and Queen Revenovia von Royen. I am Strad von Zorovich, Lord and Master of Borovia, and you will bow before me or die. There you are, you bitch. Initiative. You got my money? <laughs> hey, Strad, <laughs> don't worry. We brought a nightlight. <laughs> what? We brought our own light. Oh, it's yeah. Right. Don't, don't, hey, for those that took a bunch of damage, don't forget to roll your hit points back from your oh, I did. short That's rest. Why I, so I threw, like, all the dice at it. Let's say they gave me more health back than I have. Cool. <laughs> All right. That's pathetic. I just rolled Strahd's initiative and it was pathetic. Good. So, that's cool. Ten. That is twelve for Ruanan. So I have a, t I have a 21. 16. Okay, see, I thought he was being serious. Now I think he's just he's just he's having a laugh. It's also a 21 for Il Fellow to having a giggle. You having a giggle, mate? God bad, damn it! I rolled head. a I rolled a natural one on initiative. That gives me a 10. <laughs> doesn't natural doesn't natural ones like roll out fucking? Not on initiative. No initiative. No. You having a giggle, mate? I'll bash you fucking head in. I swear on me, mom. Boy. I'm rolling initiative for all the NPCs. Okay. Even even Oof. that one. Even that one. Even that one. Can Damn. I about that one? I, I there's a plan. There's a there's a combo I want to try. Can I say it <laughs> now? Or just say that I tell I'm telling Vera. I'm not sure if I should do that or wait on my turn to do it. Alright. First in the initiative order are Sonia and Ophelidel. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hold my turn until All right. after Vareth. Because Vareth, I want you to use the Holy Light Charge that gives him a disadvantage on saving throws. And then I'm going to come in and bop him with a whole bunch of stunning strikes until I stun him. And then I'm going to do that as many times as we can for fucking round. Okay, I so don't have holding... anything that affects saving throws. You do. One of the, You can use three charges of the holy thing to fucking give him disadvantage on saving no, throws. No, 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 no. That's just on the saving throw of the holy symbol. Hmm? What? No, with the holy symbol, he can he can make them make the save, but then he can also expend more charges to give them disadvantage on the save. Uh, yeah, it's not okay. on other saves. Okay, it's just on see, this. you know why that was there? Because word wrap is on, and that leads that's directly the damn it. Ah, uh, let me let me open this up a bit, son of a bitch. Well then, can we sit? Hey, guess what? Do 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 do. I'm gonna go punch Trod. And try to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> uh, <sighs> so that's a twenty-two. A twenty-two does hit. Cool, cool. Um, stop, stop on that motherfucker. That's, that's five damage. So a uh, key point stun. A. Eh? All right, I'm going to give him that constitution saving throw. Seventeen. Damn it. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. Another key point. Going to make two more attacks. Uh, well, that one's a fucking nine. I don't think that's going to hit. Nope. That one's a nineteen. Nineteen does. All right, so uh, he takes nine damage, and uh, another key point. Hey, guess what? That became a stunning strike. <laughs> How's he looking oh, now? That, that bounced out of my dice train onto my keyboard. What the fuck? 
That is a 16. Damn it. All right. Last attack I got. <laughs> Monks. Uh -huh. Monks, man. It's an 18. 18 hits. You're hitting with all of them. Uh, that's six damage. And guess what? It's going to be a stunning strike. How's he feeling? Uh, that one's a 19. I'm sorry. Fucking hell. Oh, god damn it. Luckily, I can do another round of that, but then I'm not attacked. Oh, Felidel. All it's right. you and your ghouligans. <clears throat> Give him a constitution saving throw. Oh boy. That's a natural one! <laughs> Beautiful. God damn it. Are you kidding so, me? So, <laughs> what? what the hell? So of course that means he's gonna take critical damage, right? Fucking piece of shit. Come on, Patrick Roth with me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hold on, let me dig out. You didn't, hey, listen here, you didn't, you didn't, uh, donate. You don't get that Patrick Roffin's bullshit. <laughs> I love that he's turned that into a thing where you can donate to his charity to get that. I know, I, I love it's that so much. Well, Felidel steps forward, throws out his arms, and, uh, this just sickening green light spills out from him. Um... Kind of like uh, the scene with Galadriel in Lord of the Rings, but green and gross. Uh, gross, yeah, makes you feel really uncomfortable, like that one scene in Saving Private Ryan. Oh no, I know exactly what one you're talking about too. Never seen it. Um, pretty good movie. It is. That is thirty radiant damage. Whoa! And I flex. <laughs> And you flex. Fire <laughs> power. Uh, and then the Gulligans. <laughs> they're, oh, yeah. they're all gonna have a fucking go at him. <laughs> so, Chum is gonna run up, try to slam him with his uh, strong hand. That's good, that's good. 17, uh, unnatural 20. Yep, that'll hit. Grub rolls a natural one. That'll miss. Wretch uh, rolls a 17. That'll hit. Nice. And I'm sure he is very displeased at seeing Radim. Oh, he visibly grimaces. <laughs> and Crispy is going to breathe fire, so give him a uh, I think it's a deck saving throw, yeah. All right. That's a 21. Fuck. So he'll take half. Um, well, the zombies, the two that hit him, that is 11 and 8. So, what is that, 19? Mm -hmm. uh, 19 bludgeoning. And then Crispy does 10 halved, so 5 fire damage. As he just... All right. And I just want it to be clear. He looks like a really bad, <laughs> like, early 2000s Disney movie animatronic. Just breathing in the air. And there you go. I hate all of that. There's nothing about that I like. <laughs> and that's it. All right. Um, as a legendary action, Strahd is going to make an unarmed strike at Crispy. Fuck you. Yeah, get that is a 24. That'll hit. Alright. It's going to take... Legendary actions are fucking wild, y'all. Get ready for some shit. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And... Seventeen points of necrotic. Real quick, I just need to check with Crispy being undead. Is someone clicking like a PlayStation controller button? Uh, no. Well, because I, I I hear this coming through from someone. 
Undead are apparently not immune to necrotic damage, so yeah, Crispy is uh, gone. The demise of Crispy as Strahd just punches him right in the oh, abdomen. Jesus. And no! shatters him, and you hear the sound of xylophones. <laughs> wow. Alright, up next is Vicegrin. Vicegrin's gonna hold up the Morning Star and say, All right, you son of a bitch. Your reign of terror is over. He's charging in. Ah, shit. That bounced out. Vice Grin hits. The 19, damn. That's pretty good. Deals that much damage. That's... Um, write that down. Swings for the second time. And misses. And after Vice Grin, it goes to... Casimir and Pity. Pity's gonna launch a dart. Please crit Pity. Crit him. Crit him, Pity. Get him, Pity. Pity, I swear to God, if you don't crit on this. <clears throat> wow. No, that's not a crit, but that is a 21. Yeah, I'll take it. So Strahd is going to take... Well, not very much. But he, Strahd does have to make that constitution save. And succeeds. <laughs> um, then it's Casimir. Casimir is going to scowl and say, You're going to pay for what you did to my sister. For what you did to all... Of my kind. It's Strahd just kind of smirks and says, They all got what they deserved. For defying me. And... I think Casimir's going to launch a lightning bolt. Same spell he killed Rahadin with. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Whatever works, right? I got one of those held back, but with what happened to you using your last one, I'm not sure I want to use it. This is all, this is literally, I feel like if not now, then when? Because if I go down now, you guys can be screwed even more. Strahd failed the deck save by one. Nice. So, Lightning Bolt was cast at a higher level. So Strahd's going to take 9d6. Are these all my d6s in this, in this bag? I think so. Nope. There's one. Alright. Listen to them dice are rattling. 10, 14, like 15, back, 17... 19, 23, 29, 31. Dang. I like when the shiny math rocks go click clack. <laughs> Alright. After Casimir and Pity, it gets thrown to Irina. Not good at coming up with dialogue. Guys, I'm not sure what arena would yell. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. I don't belong oh to you. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with the good fuck you. She hits stride. Shit. With, with really hard. Yep, really hard. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, she's gonna come around for the backswing. Hit again. These are bad rolls. Alright, after Arena, it goes to Ruanan. Damn, what did you okay. roll? Hey. Um. 
Fuck. All right. I'm gonna go for big ol' fat lightning bolt against Sweet. Mr. Strahd. I think lightning bolt. While you would think it is an attack, I think it is a save. Well, it yeah. makes sense because yeah, it's, it's lightning. It's a so it's boom save. right there. He has to make a dex saving throw. Yep. Because Casimir just cast it. That's a 19. Cool. Well, he's going to cool. take half then. Cool. Cool runnings. Cool. Yeah, man. This is payback for not letting me hit that bandit last night. That wasn't my fault. I know. <laughs> Listen, what sick murdering you guys do on your own time? You keep it to yourselves. No. <laughs> All, right. All right. Fair. <laughs> Apparently we're accomplices now. <laughs> yep. Accessories after the fact. This podcast can be used as evidence. <laughs> 23, so have is depressing. I think that's like 12. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not going to blow any of the... Wait! Wild magic surge. Let's see if it happens. Oh, boy. If only you wild magic surge on a 20. Of course I roll a nat 20 on the roll that it doesn't matter. Nice. Um, well, yeah, then nothing happens. Okay. Back. That would have been so cool. Or bad. I was driving through a chicken. <laughs> it could have been really bad, but yeah, that's it. All right, so after Wannan is Varith and Jack. All right, I'm going to go first. I'm going to expend okay. f four charges, and he's making a wisdom save at disadvantage to be paralyzed. Wisdom save at disadvantage. All right. That's a net. Okay, guys, hang on. Hang on. This is fucking bonkers. There's a natural one, isn't there? Hang on. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to post it in Discord. Is it like a natural 20 and then a natural two, one? Is it two natural ones? Or two natural 20s? Yeah. I feel like there's three things it could be. Yeah. This could break real bad. I got some bad feelings about this. That's exactly it what I was thinking. A natural one and a natural <laughs> 20. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. Strad, you came so close. So close. And yet so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Because you're a fucking paralyzed little twat. Oh, is he, that is that's he nice. paralyzed now? He's paralyzed for a minute, so wallop on him. Fuck, all oh, right. Oh, guess what's going to happen to him? Guess everybody gets advantage on him. And that's why I said let me go first. <laughs> all right, well... You threw off my whole plan. Threw off my groove. Who has so, the sun sword? Jack. They, that's, yeah, you gotta poop on him. Yeah. I'm gonna poop on his butt. Poop on the sword and put the sword in him. Oh, I want you to poop in his butt. <laughs> I, it, it's Jack's up. All right, hang on. I'm looking at something. I need to, I need to know. I need to know something. Get him, Jack. Get him. I'm gonna. Oh, so you, you really do. You really do need to hit him. With, look, one of us needs to hit him with radiant damage. Oh, oh shit! I can oh, cast sunlight. Boy. Okay, I'm going we... to 
really quick, I'm going to read the stats for Paralyzed. A paralyzed creature is incapacitated, it can't move or speak. Uh, the creature automatically fills strength and deck saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is in five feet of the creature. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna oh, I'm walk. To mess him up something As I walk up to Strahd, I ignite the sun sword. Yeah. And I'm going to put it into his brain. <laughs> Whoa. I'm Fucking going to Magneto stick it style. Straight into his asshole. <laughs> Alright. All right. Aim, I, I, you're aiming towards the brain <laughs> from the axe. Did I or did I not say it either goes completely in our favor or blows up in our face? Uh that's a twenty to hit. <laughs> At 20 hits. Okay, so that's sneak it's... attack damage. Yeah. Plus yeah. the plus yeah. the radiant. Plus yeah. oh my plus God. uh critical. So that's max all the dice <laughs> plus an extra damage for the sword, an extra radiant damage. No, an extra damage for the sword, an extra D for the sneak attack. So that's gonna be one D eight plus six okay, I gotta do I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta dice so I gotta do the math. Hang on. Uh, D8 plus six. If you guys could see my face right now. (laughs) I can't. (laughs) Why why did I have to roll such low initiative for Strahd? I fucking love. No. You have to realize how much I love that it's a nat 20 and a nat 1. Yeah. Like, it is so perfect. Ha ha! Fuck! I have been defeated. <laughs> uh, that would be that, that's, that's max Physically. damage on the sneak attack dice. Starts. He's like, is it too late to talk this out? <coughs> yeah, way too late. Starts. <laughs> uh, is like, I'm in danger. <laughs> that's uh. uh <laughs> things, are, things are looking good both times. <laughs> I uh, can't physically, believe this shit me. actually worked. <laughs> Me, the dungeon master, I am physically hurt. <laughs> hey, um, I've been holding this artifact for this fucking fight. What's uh 32 minus 18? 32 minus 18? Yeah. 14. That's 14 radiant and 18 uh sneak attack damage. So that's 32 damage total. For the sneak attack. For just the sneak attack. Well, that's for that attack. Okay. Uh, oh, no. No, I take that back. I take that back. Uh, I was holding it in two hands when I did that. So that's not a D8. That's a D10. Give me a minute. Got to redo that math. Uh, and re-roll that dice, actually. Oh, oh boy. God. Because that dice rolled a two, actually. So this is better. You know That's a nine mean? on that dice. That's so that's... Six- uh, 10 plus 6, uh, what's that? That's 16 plus 12 is, uh, 22 plus 9 is, uh, 31 plus 6 is 37. So that's 37 points of damage. 22 of it is radiant. <coughs> You know, it suddenly right. dawns on me. Maybe I should have been a better person. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, uh, Sonya, Strahd is really thinking about his life choices. <laughs> Sonya, bet. all of your flurry of blows hits are crit. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and he has to damage on everything. So guess what? Do I even have to cast Daylight? And like, <laughs> Oh, you should. Get... It'll be glorious. gonna have eight chances eight chances to fail he's gotta fail one of them right (laughs) i i encourage you to cast daylight for the grand spectacle well you don't even have to stun him because he's he's paralyzed for a minute that yeah i know but i'm i'm gonna stun him so that like when his (sighs) time comes up he'll be stunned and then paralyzed that's not how it works yeah paralyzed for a minute as opposed to stun for your turn i would keep your key point and just do flurry just Flurry every 
just spend all of your key points to keep flurrying. I don't think <laughs> you know. Yeah. It would, I think you only flurry once. You know, it would be Strahd's turn right now, but he is paralyzed. So he can't do anything. Uh, uh, Does he get to make another save or anything? Uh, uh, no. No, he's he's just he's straight up paralyzed. Man, this game is dumb. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. I thought I really thought I was going to get the two uses out of it with disadvantage. <laughs> he's going to beat both and like we'd be in the thick of it. I didn't think it was gonna work. Welp. Well, that was your first mistake. Yeah, so, I mean, Strahd can't do anything, so. This and Strahd th paralysis brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends, the number one MMO. Look, Ill Felidel and Sonya, it's your turns. Hey, guess what? Uh, attack go! Oh, wait. It can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. So, and what was it? A wisdom save? Maybe. Yeah. yeah being I just closed it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. So he could still potentially break it, but he'll. Unless he rolls a natural one. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Oh you can still follow your fucking good <laughs> luck earlier, Strahd. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Bad. I hate you all. Uh, so that's a 19. Uh, quick question, real, since I thought of it. Since I use those charges, does he still have disadvantage every time? Um, yeah, I mean, maybe. It doesn't really matter, considering, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah. I was just thinking, though, it's like, wait, since I spent him, I would think that would carry over. Wait! Strahd's going to choose to succeed that saving throw instead. Yeah, I was going to say, you, yeah, uh, he's got legendary saves. Yeah, that makes sense. However, it is still a fellow Alan Sonia's turn, so Hold he's just not paralyzed. Legendary right. resistances Hold on, I thought he only got one legendary action per round. He has a le he has uh, legendary actions and legendary resistances. They're not the same thing. Ah, okay. okay. But he only gets uh, at maximum three of those. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, I, th he I think creatures regain legendary actions um, at the yes, start of their turns, though. But They're... but not legendary resistances. They get them. Yeah. They get them a day. All right. Um, That's a different thing. Elfeladel really wants to put a hole in Strahd. I'm just gonna say it. Okay, well, just give me give me a second. I'm gonna see if this works. Um, I have fucking Wait. four four times to see if I can stun him. What if I had the demon come and smash him? Well, then. I mean, imagine that. Imagine, imagine the, the demon, image. but also imagine the demon have advantage on all of its attacks. Yeah, imagine the demon yeah. has advantage on all <laughs> of its attacks. Against. Let's strong. see if this works. Yeah. Yeah. So let's. I'm gonna. I'm, we, that's why it's like. Let me. Let me see if I can stun him. Okay. He's done. Oh right. He succeeded the save. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So that's nineteen. Nineteen hits. Okay. So, ooh. Uh. It's ten damage. Um. Yep. And uh, roll them bones. Ten damage. Well, then uh. What wisdom? Constitution. Right? A const con All right. Constitution. Let me look at his. Constitution is probably really good. <laughs> yeah, being a vampire and all. That's an eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Key point gone to make this a flurry bows. Oh, another nineteen. Whew. That'll hit. Um, and another ten. Wow. That's... And fucking yeah. Hey. Is it a? How's that constitution looking? It's looking like a fifteen. <sighs> okay, okay, next does one. Fifteen? Does fifteen save? It does. Damn it! Yours is only fifteen. I thought it was sixteen. Uh, mine's only fourteen. It's eight oh. plus my proficiency plus my wisdom, which only comes up to. Mm. 
14. All right. Sounds um, like someone needs to up their uh, stats. Their eight. Their, uh, no, that's. I mean, that's just a solid. You know, my, my wisdom. Well, What's your wisdom? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. No, I've been when I level up, I put my points in dex, which I probably should have put some more into wisdom. Yeah. I put dex instead. That's an eighteen. I'm assuming that hits. Yep. Okay, six damage. How's he looking? <laughs> Isn't that constitution? Now would be a good time for one of those legendary fucking ones to pop out. <laughs> That's an 18. Fucking, am I uh, just the buffer? Is that it? Am I the fucking <laughs> buffer? I'm not allowed to do shit. All right, I'll fill it out. No, I got one more attack, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you're going to wait your turn. <laughs> that's 20. That's mean that 20 that. hits. Uh, another 10 damage in fucking last time. That's a 12. Yes! You're stunned! You fucker! He's going to use a second legendary God, resistance. God damn it! But you're burning you them. But you're burning them. That's good. Just, That's no, good. No, That's no, good. Just, just one. You can't have. She like grabs his coat. Just one. <laughs> just one. You <laughs> could have only had oh, one. Oh no! I hate it. All right, El Felidel. That's so sad. Um. How are you following up? Ha! Uh, um. You know what? I'm actually. I'm gonna cast Dance Macabre. This is a new spell I've got. Ooh. Oh, good. Um. And I like the name of it. Uh, the uh, the three uh, dead brides. They are gonna become animated. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. You mean the one dead? Well, okay. How? Because one of them's paste and the other two are body parts. And they're not literally paste. They uh, will assemble as skeletons if they need to. Um, they just xylophone. They place. just come together. Just like their bones, like click into each other, and like bits of flesh are like clinging to their bones as they rise up as these. Like gross-looking half skeleton, half yo, zombie. Yo, I, yo, I think bags. I think you'll fill a little freak. Just a bit. And uh, they're going to attack Strahd along with every single one of the rest of the Gooligans. Um. Oh boy. So get ready. No, <laughs> I'm I'm ready. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to say they probably all have advantage from flanking. <laughs> they would be surrounding him. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> fucking meme. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Chum is going to try to punch Strahd in the back of the head. Don't keep I mean, I, I'm up on him with melee range, too. Like, of course, I, I would be. They would be flanking with me. That one is going to miss. That was like a 14. Remember, advantage. Yeah, I, I did roll with it. Grub okay. is going to try to kick Strahd in the nads. <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh, my vampire balls. <laughs> uh, 16 plus 3, uh, 19. Yep. And then Wretch. Wretch rolls uh, two 14s. So plus three, 17. Yep. Cool. Um, and then, uh, dead lady number one. <laughs> Meet bride one. Fucking, would you fucking uh, legendary this fucking bitch? 18 plus four. That'll hit. I'm gonna give them. I, I'm just gonna assume that they're skeletons since they're more bone than meat at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know Matt's face while all this is going on. Uh, check the check uh, the moral ambiguity Twitter. That's another. Oh God. That's another twenty-two for deadly number two. Meat bride two, I should say. Yep. Meat bride three. Uh, is it a fifteen or a sixteen? The gothic font on this die is 
Uh, 15 plus 4. Yeah. I think that yeah. does it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Grub and Wretch. Um, that is a 10 and a 6. So, 16. And then I don't know what the base damage would be for the skeletons. Did they have any weapons or like. Do they have like some claws? They had claws. That'd probably be like what, a D4 or a D6? 2D4, actually. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. That's a D4 more than I thought. Yeah, same. Well. So wait, uh, have you rolled damage already for anything? Uh, for Grub and Wretch. Okay. They did uh, 16. All right. And then the Brides. Um, I'm just going to like run through and do all of their damage and calculate it into one big meat bride damage total. <laughs> That it's works. Fucking I hate that you're referring to them as meat brides. <laughs> it's a fucking I really don't like that. Bad. Bro, they're the slurry. <laughs> the slurry wenches. The sluice. Um, okay. Sluicy and the ghouls. Twenty-one damage from the meat brides. All right. The, the hamburgers, the hamburger damsels. Oh God. <laughs> the stroganoff sweeties. The Salisbury. <laughs> <laughs> the Salisbury sisters. Oh my god, stop. Jake, you're a bad, you're a bad person. I just... <laughs> the hamburger helper hussies. Oh god. <laughs> oh lord. You're a bad... Right, it's Vice, it's Vice Grin's turn. Oh, we're terrible, terrible people. Vice Grin's gonna hit once. You're all bad people. For that... Vice Grin's gonna swing again and miss. Next up is. The Melted Missies. <laughs> Casimir and Pity. Just get louder. Just get louder. Pity is going to. Drown them out. Critically miss the dart. Casimir is going to cast Firebolt and miss. Oh, he missed? Mm. Here's the role where he would have won if he had it because he was <laughs> stunned, but no! Wait, he yeah, cast uh, Fireball? Bolt. Firebolt. Oh, I was going to say, is that going to, like, fucking kill us all? Arena's going to swing with a sword. I hope he didn't cast Fireball. I'm right fucking here. Arena hits four. That's pretty good. Going to swing again. And miss... So after Arena goes to Ruanan. Great. Um, oh boy. I wish he was paralyzed again, because I would get an instant hit on my lightning bolt. Yeah. Um, boy. Uh, oh, I know what I can do. Use up, oh, make him use man. up that last legendary resistance, so I can paralyze his ass. I could, and then I can stun him. I don't care if it doesn't. I could work. also, do it. I could God. also hit him with the magic equivalent of an ICBM and <laughs> fry him. Okay, like, um, deep fry. Please him. note that there is two of us, not to mention how yeah. many of the hooligans and like arena and all. Oh, all. don't worry. Oh! We're all you here. Guys, you guys will be fine. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say, don't worry. Scorching Ray at mm. fourth level. So that will give me five rays of fire. Um, and then I'm going to give. I'm going to expend. How many meta magic points can I expend in one turn? Um, 
real quick. I just need to, uh, oh wait, it's not the meta magic that I'm using. It's the, uh, what is it? Tides of Chaos. So, I'm going to manipulate the forces of chance and one of my firebolt attacks out of the five <laughs> um, is going to have advantage on the attack roll. Um, I wish I could do that for all of them, but that would be broken. So I will uh, I will take what I get. Okay, so firebolt number one with advantage. Scorching oh, this, this will also, by the way, create a guaranteed wild magic surge. <laughs> by the way, you mean scorching ray, not firebolt. Oh yeah, scorching ray at fifth, fourth level, not fifth. Um, sixteen plus eight at math twenty-four. Yep. Bolt number two. The rest of these don't have advantage. Thirteen plus eight. That's a twenty-one. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Bolt number three <laughs> is a two. Bolt number uh, that... four. What the fuck? Is a nineteen. Ray, not bolt. Ray. Ni- nineteen. Well, it's hits. bolts of the scorching ray. Oh, okay. Um, and bolt number five is a natural twenty. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Okay, the damage for each of these bolts is high as frick. Also, I also learned, or I realized, I can use my bend luck wild magic thing. So next time you give him a save, I can make him subtract a d4 from it. So it's it's something. Um, I guess I could have used that while you were trying to stun him. But I forgot, I forgot about it. TBH. Um, yeah, no. okay. Hey, I got one more stun I'm going to do, so maybe you can do it next time. So we've got three bolt hits and one critical hit. Oh my god. Is that correct? Did I, yes. did I miscalculate? No, that's okay. right. Okay. Got seven. Another seven. So 14. That's three, so... 17. 17. And then the critical is going to be 12, plus these extra two die. Uh, five, four, nine. So 12 plus nine. Uh, 21. 21 on top of 17. 38. So 38 fire damage. Oh, and we get a wild magic surge. Let's not uh, neglect... The most important part of being a wild magic sorcerer. After all, a D100. Ninety. Uh oh. What happened? Ruan disappears. Son of a bitch. God damn it! Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man, if it would have been a nine instead of a ninety, I would, I would get to also cast magic missile on top of that. All right, at the end of uh, Rowanan's turn, Strahd's going to use a legendary action to move thirty feet away from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this movement does not provoke no, attack of say, opportunity. Excuse me, his, his everyone legendary, attacks. His legendary action of hey guys, can we talk this out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack. Um, no, I he's would. moved 30 feet away. So he's moved 30 feet away. Would you I thought I went before Jack. Su- we, we would go at the same time. Oh, yeah, fair. Yeah. Would it's you, Jack would and you say that me suddenly showing up about 30 feet, uh, about right in front of him and maybe right above him, coming down on top of him would be a surprise to him? Uh, I'm going to say no, because <laughs> he's prepared for the fight. Is he? Is he prepared for that specific <laughs> thing? What? Not that specific thing, but no. Oh, hey! I look at Strahd and go, "Oh, cool! He's outside of fire. He's outside of fireball range." And I throw a fireball at him. Oh, <laughs> he fucking my. moved thirty feet away from yeah. everyone. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. job, jackass! <laughs> Make a dex roll. 
Go for I'm, it. Yeah, fuck him, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna use bend luck to get, subtract a d4 from his roll. I, uh, I, right. I wait for him to... I'm like, okay. It's 10, two. 15, 20, and that's 30 feet. Okay. Boom. <laughs> that is... That is a 25 on his save. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's half damage. <clears throat> One second. Um, I just need to uh, roll the dice on this one. Okay, sidebar. Why does... Well, hmm. What? Say it. What? Hmm. Are you... What? What? Oh, hmm. are you, are you, are you, what are you angry about that we're not fucking... Strahd is going to cast Counterspell. <laughs> I'm going... I'm going to cast Counterspell. Counterspell. <laughs> uh, what level? Um, he is casting it at 5th level. Oh, but... Fuck. <laughs> Can't do it. I'm very angry by this. It's fine. If it gets to Rowanan's turn again, he's he's got another nuke. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, keep casting all that anti-bullshit for the people who don't need it. <laughs> Varith. <laughs> okay. Hey, Varith, don't you have a spell that like hits him for, like... Oh, I am going to uh, move... I, I am going to use the rest of my turn to move back up on him into melee, though. Varith, just okay. daylight him. Just to get him into melee. <laughs> uh, daylight <laughs> doesn't actually count as sunlight, so it won't do shit. Probe. Doesn't your your uh, holy symbol cast out sunlight, though? No. Yeah. Uh, I if I want to use every last charge it has and not be able to try to paralyze him again, yes. Uh, that's a good point. So what I'm going to do... Plus, you don't really need that considering the sun sword counts as sunlight. Oh, I'm going right. to cast a guiding bolt. By the way, and the sun sword is out and lit, so he is in sunlight. Yeah, because you did attack him. Yeah. Fourth level. It. So guiding. guiding bolt at fourth level. So that'll be 66 radiant if it hits him. Fuck. And whoever attacks him next has advantage. <laughs> Does a... <laughs> 22 hit. A 22 hits. Jake is laughing at something and I'm I'm afraid. Strahd came into this battle expecting the theme song to be like Dark Souls boss music. But then he got really afraid when it turns out that the theme song for this boss battle is Ballroom Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to point out that yeah, this is 66 Radiant. <laughs> now, I'm okay. not crazy. Doesn't that do, like, double damage to vampires? No, I think he's just... Uh, I think it just deals full damage instead of it being halved or anything like that. He gonna take it. 22 Radiant. Yeah, maybe right. maybe Radiant only does double to normal vampire because he's stupid and, uh, and whoever attacks him next has uh, advantage. Alright, so after Varith, it is Strahd's turn. Strahd has taken quite the fucking beating. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> he... Well, you see, um, he actually shies away from the sun sword a little bit, and you actually see the radiation actually burn his skin a bit as he takes a little bit of damage. Damn right. Let's go. Um... Oh boy, what can he do? What do I have written down? Because I I planned out seven rounds of combat. It's only the second round. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Hey, what? Fuck you, Strahd. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I need I need everybody to make dexterity saving throws. Huh? You cry? 
<laughs> maybe. Huh? Come and shit. <laughs> Come. That's a twenty-seven for you, boy. You said Dex. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We want him. Fumbles. Uh, El Felidel rolls a fifteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Oh, I'm sorry. Not a fifteen. A sixteen. For some reason, I thought he had a plus two, but it's a plus three. All right. Uh, who all rolled above? Who rolled 18 or higher? I did. Yeah. Jack did. Oh, wait. Gooligans. <laughs> yeah, all, that dex, all that dexterity that they Meat, got. Meat brides. Oh. They're not looking too great. There are two natural 20s on the meat brides. Oh, they have the best dexterity because they're just floating corpses. <laughs> <laughs> the meat brides right. got two natural 20s, bro. <laughs> so, who... Me, Jack, and two meat brides, it sounds like. The other one failed, I'm yeah. pretty sure. I doubt they have... They might have a plus two. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll damage, and then you're just gonna... Me and Jack just, jumped you're just gonna the take what you take. <laughs> oh, yep, all three meat brides succeed. They have a plus two to yeah. dex. So the 16 goes is up to I'm an 18. Gonna, I'm just gonna all start swinging my us, arms, and whatever five, you take, you take. All five of us backflipped in perfect choreography. Us two and the, and the three meat brides. We had those trampolines that the that the Sentai Rangers use. Perfect synchronization. Anyone who didn't save takes forty six fire damage. Shit. Holy shit! As a fireball ex- erupts in the center of this room. Okay, wait. Okay. If it hits Jack, doesn't it also hit Strahd because he's Jack's next to Strahd? He might have put it right at the edge. Yep. So every ghoul okay. gets down. <laughs> 46. So that's funny. I take 23. Uh, Sonya, what level are you? Nine. Hang on. Every ghoul again is down. Elfeldel is very wounded. I'm Ruana the same level as yours. Ruana right. Is no, like... you're not. Uh, oh, that's Sonya, right. Because you're Sonya, crazy. Sonya, you don't take any. You have evasion. Oh shit, that's right. On um, it's down deck throws. I yeah, just never done a shit. deck save before. Fuck you, Strahd. Alright. I've invincibility said... frames. <laughs> Sonya literally has iframes. <laughs> Ruan right. and Elfeladel are both bloodied. Elfeladel more so. Vareth is bloodied. I'm down to twenty-five. Uh, Arena yeah, right? is down. Casimir is down. Oh, fuck. Pity is down. Jack, you notice out of the corner of your eye, standing behind Strahd with a knife in hand. Yeah! That's my girl! It's the girl, isn't it? Is Arabelle. <laughs> Just like I've trained you! Do it! I, uh, I look at... He's too <laughs> dangerous to be left alive! <laughs> I look at Strahd and I, I just say, "Fuck you!" Is that all you got? And I just no I, way. I, I taunt him just to keep his eyes on me. <laughs> you move out your dick and start to wave. Start, I start helicoptering. You know <laughs> Arabelle Nat twenty. Yes! <laughs> With a knife. Hell yeah! So you just watch as she plunges this knife into Strahd's back. He just kind of. Ah! Can I use that distraction to, to cut him with the with the blade? I was gonna say, can I then punch? Well, we're gonna have to find out next week. Ah! I see. Or for the people listening in two weeks. Ah! All right. Woo! That battle is going. Ag- the complete opposite way I thought it was going to. Woof. How yeah. how bad did we just whoop on Strahd? It was like um, you expected us to have this epic battle of fortitude, and instead it's a bunch of bullies ganging up on the nerd, just kicking him in the dirt. Basically, we rubbed dirt. We rubbed dirt in his hair. You uh, you took him down, 
well past half the hit points that I gave we him. We rubbed dirt in his hair and then made out with the girl he likes. In front of him. Right in front of him. Right in front of him. Terrible. Whew. So, thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of Moral Ambiguity Dead is Better. The next episode will maybe be the finale of this arc. Uh, the next episode will be released February 1st. So, everyone, if you like the podcast, please rate uh, five stars and leave a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcasting app you're using to listen to us. Um, feel free to follow us on Twitter, at AmbiguousPod. That's A-M-B-I-G-U-O-U-S-P-O-D. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Moral Ambiguity. Put podcasts at the end of the search. And we will speak with you again in two weeks in the finale of Dead is Better. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Man, what an episode. What an episode. Hey, Raid Shadow Legends. It's a great game. It's <laughs> nope, I'm cutting it off there. Best MMO game in the world. Have a nice night, everybody. Raid, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs>